Hello then, welcome to this course on data analysis with Modin. My name is Valentine and I'll be your instructor. In this course, we are going to be going through this tool um, called Modin, which is a tool that enhances Pandas. Um, Pandas is the standard data uh, manipulation or uh, data analysis library when it comes to Python. So with Modin, we are able to have our pandas code be executed efficiently so modin is a separate tool that generally would um, speed up the execution of the pandas code or scripts that we would um, write it uses um, behind the scenes um, tools um, either tools such as uh, dask or ray um, which um, allow for that process of just um, performance optimization. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, to get started, go to the description of this video, click on the practice resource link that should take you to a page that looks like this. Then you can be able to just quickly sign in and then um, uh, click on continue learning and you can be able to get the resource um, that we're going to be using. Um, but again, if you would want to get extensive resources, you can always become an Afterwork member and you get um, a whole lot of other resources at your disposal for learning how to use this tool. So yeah, once you have gotten to have um, signed in, you will get to the sample notebook. If you're an Afterwork member, you get to the practice notebook, which I'll be using, and you can save a copy of the notebook. And then we can get started. So starting off, um, the first thing that we need to do, which by the way, the practice notebook is simple, simply similar to the sample notebook. Um, what you need to do is, is simply um, run the um, first codes, um, the first um, sections code um, cells. So the first code cell that we're going to run is pip install modin. And this will generally, we we'll just install the modin library. So um, yeah, so let's run that. Then that should take us a few seconds. Um, once we have installed the Modin library, we would need to import it. So we do that using this um, keyword, um, import keyword, and then Modin pandas is speedy. Um, so let's do that as well. And then, yeah, now we can work with Modin just like we would do with Pandas. So starting off, if we wanted to load data into a data frame, more specifically a modin data frame, we just use the read CSV function that um, we are accustomed to if we have um, worked with pandas before and specify the data set and store the data that we have here in a data frame called df. And then we can preview the first few rows using the head function as shown. That should give us a modin data frame. So it should take us a few seconds um, for that particular case to happen. And then we should be able to have our data frame um, right here below. All right, pause the video and then work on the challenge. We can also um, get a representative um, sample or sample that uh, we want from a data set assuming we had this data set that contains information about sales we can apply the sample function just as we would with pandas to the data frame that we've loaded our data set to and specify the number of records that we want and we can specify also random state to just ensure reproducibility then we can display the sample data And there we've got our sample data. Pause the video and then work on the challenge. In some other situations, we might want to get an idea of the last few records. So, so um, we would use just the tail function, just as we would um, with pandas. <laughs> and yeah, so we apply that to the original data frame and that should give us the last records using um, um, modin. Pause the video and then work on the challenge. Moving on, in some situations, we might want to explore the data distribution of the variables that we have. And this would entail, uh, it could entail being able to uh, just calculate statistical summaries uh, or st uh, statistical measures. So 
one common method we would use would be to apply the describe function to the data frame that we have and it should give us um it should generally just give us a description of uh, a statistical description table that contains information statistical information about the variables that we have in the data frame so here the mean can tell us a bit more about the um, distribution of the data so if you look at the mean um, as well as the uh, minimum and maximum we can know that uh, our data would be um, sort of um, would be distributed towards either the one side so if the mean is 15 and a thousand we can see that our data the mean is 205 so then that means there are more points which are closer to 15 um, than there are points closer to a thousand all right moving on um when it comes to handling duplicate rows we can first of all um, display the display the data set that we want um so if this is the initial data set that we want to work with what we would need to do is um so assuming this is the initial data set that we have um we can um first of all get the number of records using the shape property um specify the first um item in the tuple so normally when we would run this we would get a tuple and this would give us the number of records as well as the number of columns so we have 30 records 10 columns but to get 30 we just simply um, use square brackets and specify the first element which is 30 records so if you wanted to drop rows um, maybe based on the city column so we have the city column on the far end if there are multiple rows with similar city values in this case we would treat those records as um, duplicates so how we are able to remove them is just using the drop duplicates function and we specify um, a city um, the column that we want to use for the definition of duplicates using the list um, that we passed to the drop duplicates function and then we can store the drop duplicates um, um, uh, the duplicates inside the df number of duplicates and then we can get the number of um, records as shown here pause the video and then work on the challenge when it comes to um um uh by the way sorry let me just go back a bit here we are saying that th what we get here actually are the records that do not have duplicates um so these ones the ones that are stored in this data frame do not have duplicates we're just using the shape property to get the number of records in some other cases moving on um, we might want to handle missing values so we might want first of all to identify how many records that we have in a data set we can first of all how many missing values we have in the data set so we can first display display the data set to just get an understanding of the records and then we can check for missing values across all columns using this function is null we apply it to the original data frame as well as um, the sum which you also applied to the um, is null um, um, outcome um, that's the data set and we can get the um, columns that we uh, want as well as we can get the columns and as well as the respective missing values like for quantity we have two total price two and then we can decide to fill in those missing values maybe with some value like for example we can decide to get the mean of the quantity column and then replace the values that are missing with the mean and we just set in place to true to just replace the original um, values. So you can see here, modin actually works essentially just like pandas. Um, it's just um, only that you're able to uh, run it efficiently behind the scenes. Drop rows with mixing values. So here we just used uh, the replacement technique um, of fill and a using the fill and a function. But again, in some other situations we can just decide to use a drop and a function to drop all records with missing values so if this is our data set which we are going to preview and we have been able to display the missing values you can see category has one missing value we can drop the records with those missing values and then we can display the number of records and the columns as well as the respective missing values um and you can this just confirms that we were able to make that imputation okay 
moving on we can filter um also to we can filter for records to be able to answer research questions that are specific um so for example we can load this data set that we see here so this is the data set that we're going to load um and we can decide to maybe filter for records that have category as electronics so this is how we do um, we just define a boolean mask and then we pass that to um to the df um accessor and we um square brackets and then we display the filter data set so these records have the category as electronics pause the video and then work on the challenge moving on we can also group and aggregate um, data so if you have a bigger data set we can create a summary table that's just like you know how we create pivot tables assuming this is our data we can decide to create a pivot table maybe we want product category and product category then city as well as the respective um total price so this might give us maybe information about total sales for um for each city um per the category and and that might be important to answer some research questions so how we would achieve that is using the group by function and we specify the columns that we want to group the data by first by product category and then city and then we specify the column that we want to um, perform our um, numerical um, calculations as total price and sum and we then display the grouped and aggregated data right um pause the video and then work on the challenge lastly still on the topic of grouping we can instead using we can instead of using the group by function we can use the pivot table function to still create a pivot table so again assuming this is our sales data set the data set that contains just information about um, orders we might want to create a pivot table that has product category and um, could be payment method as well as the total price for each payment method um, then we can use the pivot table as shown so we specify the pivot table from pd which is modin uh, for modin specify the data frame that we want to create a pivot, pivot table from then the values that we want to perform the numerical operations for that's um, we will perform total price for um we'll perform aggregate function so we will perform the sum of the total price for each payment method as per the category in the data frame and we then display the pivot table you can see here we have what you can see here um yeah uh, we have payment method we have um, cash credit card debit card paypal and um, we have the rest of the categories over here okay i think that's generally it um i hope you were able to get an understanding of how you can be able to enhance pandas it's simple it's just not that hard it's just as simple as just simply importing um modin as you would um installing and importing modin as you would with pandas um and then get started um but again um pandas is the standard library and um if in some cases maybe there could be some edge cases where pandas may not necessarily um modin may not necessarily support um some functions supported in pandas but again those are just um usually edge cases which means that at some point modin will provide support for that all right i hope you did um find this learning experience valuable if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up it helps tell us that we're doing a good job and also helps other people tells them that this is a good resource um in addition to that if you were able to find again the resource um, valuable and you'd want to be informed when we post such future learning experiences be sure to subscribe to and to our channel and see you in the next um learning experience bye bye